Well, I'm here with Blue Gabe. We we did have a plan. We had a heck of a plan. We had the LPs ready, Sea Borgs, all the offshore stuff. It was fishable today, quote unquote. Um, it was going to be rough, but we just talked to uh, Salty, Day. Salty Days, one of our buddies here that charters, and uh, said he's already on his way back in. Took two over the bow. So he has a bigger boat than me. Yeah, he has a, he has a big stout boat. Uh, so. Needless to say, we're changing up the plans. What that plan is, I'm not sure yet, but yeah, we're going right. to figure we're it going out. We're down south, son. We're going to Little Havana, and we're killing all kinds of stuff. All right. That sounds like Cuban food for me. That sounds good. I'll kill some Cuban food and some other stuff. Sounds good. I got too many rods. Like, what were we going to kill exactly today? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Duh. Holy What kind Toledo. of question is that? We only needed one rod, and that's the LP. Yeah, that's right. The thing that can catch everything, and you can put it on front of your truck for uh, as a winch. My favorite little tool that there ever was. Of course, it also costs about six thousand dollars for a setup. That I'm setup, not that guy. That yet. setup and one extra spool cost me eight thousand. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Stout. All right, let's get. Uh, we got to get the bow fishing bow, some gigs, your pellet gun. So we're doing the exact same thing we're bringing everything to go down south just like we're bringing everything on the boat to do we're going to kill <laughs> yes <laughs> we're going to kill i something. guess that was the idea for today <laughs> we're gonna kill everything <laughs> ready to rip tater chip you gotta be ready for anything yeah pretty much where'd you get your atlanta uh, <laughs> what a dumb question where'd you get your atlanta hoodie <laughs> I, it was why do you have an atlanta hoodie that's what i meant to say i have absolutely no idea <laughs> so weird so random okay so plan b not going well we've gone all over the world uh and have not seen any we've seen two snakeheads but nothing that we could catch so we're going for plan c there isn't iguana where did he go he's right there and uh, i'm gonna try to snag him what you got joe I'm to get you you could did you get it oh no oh no. my i wasn't ready for you to set the hook yet i think we can find one that's closer oh, than 60 yards that would have been sick though oh that was so close mm, look at that big one right over there by the pine tree they can't even see it so far away i, I think me and your one. fans that will agree that. we can find them closer than this I think you're right, no without background noise. One more try. Oh no, oh, oh he's running the up tree. the tree. So the needle. Oh, oh you got him. knocked him out and, with the weight. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to stun him. A stun kill. Let's go, I know where we can go find some big ones. All right, all right, all right. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, we found an iguana. Speak to the camera. I'm trying to not get hit by a car. All right, we found an iguana on the side of the road here. It's feeding. So we kind of got a shot at it in the shade. We're gonna try to sneak up on him and and uh, snag him. There he is, big old, big old mean that he sees us already. But can you this make is... this happen? Why did we wear red? <laughs> we were supposed to go offshore this morning, and now we're trying to snag iguana. Oh, there's a little one right there that's gonna give you away. Oh no, he's gonna blow my cover. Here, let me see your hook. Let's let's show him what we're working with. A little snatch rig there, little lead and a big treble hook he's looking at us he's right behind that palm tree this one is gonna screw me over isn't it? you just gotta ease up there use the trees use the trees he's right behind that palm tree oh he's laying straight away from you he's still eating don't try to get too close <laughs> Hey, you better go on the right side of the tree. Oh, it landed perfectly. Oh, you're in the tree, though. Oh, he's going to eat it. Wiggle it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Try to get this little one right here. Swing and a miss? He got stuck in the grass. 
That's all right. We got one more big one down here that we got to go chase. Oh, I can see him from here. Wouldn't have been no fun if we got the first one we tried for. Yeah, that right. Or the second or the third. Oh, he's in a better spot now. Target acquired. Ah! Same spot, he's still there. This is the dumbest iguana ever. The battle of the dumbest. Dumbest fisherman, or whatever this we want to call this. The dumbest guy versus the dumbest iguana. Who wins? Oh, you jerked it right over his back. You walked over it. He's right there on that hump. He's still right there. Just slip over that edge. He's walking to the left. See, look at the dinosaur down there on that point. To your left, to your left. He's slipping in the grass. Right there. Oh, he's in stock mode. Oh. All right, Joe VT. Target acquired. We made it, Jurassic Park. Giant. Look at him shaking his head. There's three of them right where he's at. Oh boy. Oh, the frustrations. Dang. Almost got him. Uh oh. I got the stick out of the way. You did? Probably go over there and grab him. I don't know if he's that cold. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you got him, Gabe. <gasps> oh. How did that? He's just not meant to die. Yeah. He's got a. One more try. A stave around him. A protective shield. Oh yeah. It needs to drop a little bit more. <gasps> oh. Ah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, moving target, Gabe. No, the weight rolls down. We still haven't lost all hope. Nope, we still got a shot. Send it. Now he stops walking. One more and then I'm done. All right, stop walking. Go. You only have enough lines to just hit him. That's it, that's it, that's it, Gabe. This is it. <gasps> Get a ball. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big lizard. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we wouldn't give up. <laughs> oh my god, the sand spurs. Yeah, that looks painful. Oh, doing the gator death rolls. Nice shot. Ah! No, 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 Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, no, 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 no,
No! So close. He's going to pop up on the other side again. We're going to get another shot. I have a feeling. It wasn't very, is it, is it cold, cold? Yes. Well, hopefully he won't even be able to move the next time he pops. All right, thank you for trying to sacrifice your dryness for the iguana. Oh. What a heartbreak, man. All right, he's back up after about 10 minutes. He's probably really, really cold. So hopefully uh, we don't mess this up for the 35th time. 35th is a very generous number. Y'all see he's changed his tackle. Went with the spinning rod. And he fell short. Just a little bit and jig it. Well, the handle broke. Yep. Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh. down there oh he's hanging on If he gets off right there, I don't even know what to tell you. No, you'll break the rod once he grabs. You gotta get down there and get him. What's the odds that we catch the same one we already lost? After an unbelievable amount of mess ups, we got an iguana cast clean and cook. Pretty guy. Sorry about your luck, buddy. We thought it was going to be your day, but as a matter of fact, it is not. Sorry, bud. All right, we'll see you at the house. I'm overcasting at these. <laughs> All right, gang, it is the next day. Um, I'm about to clean them. But I'm gonna clean them off camera because of uh, YouTube. I don't feel like getting demonetized. So I'm gonna clean them and then throw them on the grill. All right, gang, just got done cleaning Mr. Iguana with the nine inch gun grip sword knife, pow! And uh, yeah, actually it wasn't that hard. You pretty much just like, I just kind of took the little ridge off of his back and then did a slice down all the way through his tail. Same at the top, I sliced the tail all the way back and you just kind of peel it back. It's like skinning a dolphin or a triggerfish or what have you. Uh, yeah. And what we're gonna do to cook it is we're gonna wrap it um, and throw it in the oven for a long time at like 300 degrees. So, uh, I mean, you read the title. We're gonna put this as a protein on pizza. We're having a pizza night tonight. Iguana pizza coming at you. First, you gotta wrap it up the whole entire way. Oh God, I forgot to season it. Dang it, Joe, you're an idiot. All right, let's see how well I can unwrap this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right I'm just gonna do some Lowry's because Lowry's is amazing. And then some Cajun two-step. Shout out, uh, what's his name, Steel Cracker?
Yeah, we're gonna put a lot of seasoning on it. Alrighty. Now we're gonna rewrap her and put her in the oven. I'm not gonna show me rewrapping it. You've already seen that one time. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't you love it when you leave the cast iron stuff in the oven and then preheat it and then everything gets really hot and it's sketchy. Bring it out, okay. Okay, okay. All right, now we're gonna put the iguana in. <laughs> For a very long time. A very long time. All right, seen like four or five hours. All right, it has been four hours and 10 minutes, 20 minutes? I don't know. What's up, Redneck? Say hi to the people. What's up, Al? Anyways, I'm pulling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ew, that's kind of gross, but. It actually smells good. Didn't expect that. It smells very good, truthfully. All right. I'm gonna let it chill for a little bit and then we're going to uh, you know scrape all the meat off and put it on a pizza with the public earlier I actually originally got this idea from the goat Jonathan Moran him and his wife uh, they use these thin crust pizzas and uh, whenever they want pizza they do that they said they haven't uh, ordered pizza in like two years because it's it's really good we had it in north carolina while we were up there giant bluefin tuna fishing and it was phenomenal so um we're gonna have a pizza night here tonight and i'm gonna put iguana on a pizza actually i want to kind of unwrap this just so it cools off faster it actually smells good that's good too not bad a lot better than i expected Actually, I can't believe that it smells so good. Like, it really does. I did not expect that. It was a decent looking meat, too. All righty, gang, it's cooled down enough. Uh, we're about to make said pizza. Are you excited to eat iguana pizza or what? I mean, it's pizza, how bad can it be? Does iguana belong on pizza? The question that everybody asks. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Heck yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Of course, the most opinionated person I know likes it. I love it. You, I think, honestly, you're saying that you like it just so you can argue with people on your on the internet. There's no, I, have, I won't eat pizza pasta. without pineapple. You won't no. eat pizza? I love pineapple and pepperoni. Oh and you're putting too goodness. much sauce on right no, now. No, I'm not. I'm spreading it out. <laughs> let, let, me, let me cook. All right? I'm spreading it out. You're in Blue Gabe's kitchen, though. I know. I am. What are the kids doing over there? Are y'all excited to eat iguana pizza? All y'all. All y'all. We were all eating iguana pizza? Oh yeah, you have to. I can't see it. I've never, never heard, heard of it all. We Come here, Luke. Let me show you. Come here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look, look at this right here. Oh, my God, the oh, you've got an actual iguana. An actual iguana, yes. Not an axolotl. Okay, so wait, I can't <laughs> Guys, come here. Let me show you something. Come here. They've got an actual iguana. Here, this is what we're having for supper. Come here. You ever eat one of these before? That right here. Oh my god, that's so sad. I <laughs> know. <laughs> that that's all right. Oh. That thing was living its best life yesterday, and now we're being it a pizza disgusting. today. It smells disgusting. It smells good. It does not smell bad. You're just saying that. It really doesn't. I was I was actually expecting it not to smell good. All right, you got to put the mutts on it. Did you ever work at Pizza Hut or something? No, I look like I eat pizza every day, though. Hey, Redneck, I got something for you. Your afternoon's about to get a little bit better. I think you're skimping us on the cheese right now. Hang on! Big piles. Just draw. Everybody watching right now is like, would you just grab a big handful, please? All right, you want, big, you want some mutts on there? Big handfuls. That was a big handful. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, buddy. Your afternoon's about to get a little bit better. Well, what's it there, Redneck? Want some tea, ba? There you go. What dog doesn't love cheese? All righty. And for the protein, I guess the wings are one of the best parts. Ooh, tender. Very tender. That came right off the bone. Here, a little taste test here. It just tastes like chicken wings. That's literally all it tastes like. 
Hey, Red Knight. Come here. Help me out. Help me out, bro. See? It really does not taste bad. Anyway, what's going on with pizza? Bring it up a little bit more. I mean, look at it. It's white meat. It's like a chicken. It's going to be like a chicken pizza, I guess. This is what you cook for like a kid's birthday party and don't tell anybody and let them see a picture of it. <laughs> I guess. What kind of party do you some of that back strap right there. Oh, that yeah. tenderloin. I'm getting there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Why didn't I dive in and catch him though? Too slow, Gabe. You're too slow. The water was too cold. Yeah, that's really what it was. <laughs> I should have done my infamous iguana dive. And I had the perfect chance right there in front of me. The iguana swan dive. Now the tail. Everyone calls it the, the filet mignon portion. All right. Mm. I mean, it's it's good white meat. God, you you you're enjoying this, huh? It's not. I mean, it's it's good. If you didn't know that it was a guana, and someone cooked it for you, I don't think you would complain. Ooh, it gets a little tougher towards the end of the tail. But I mean, it's not like it doesn't taste bad. Don't smell bad. All right, we're gonna slide this in here, five twenty-five for. Uh, Five to seven minutes. Heads up, redneck. Watch out. Watch out, boy. All right. We can go middle rack. Boom. Ooh, a little sneak peek before he even starts talking. That's how you made a pizza how I like a pizza. What? Well? Yeah. Heck yeah. Well and well done. I mean, you couldn't get a better looking iguana pizza than that. I mean, put it in the restaurants, folks. Pizza Hut. Wet the beak a little bit. A little bit of a good idea. Take care of the evasive issue. It's looking tasty. Yeah, I mean, it's pizza. How bad can it be? I think a barbecue iguana pizza. This is what needs to happen next time. You lost me at the barbecue. That's like barbecue chicken pizza. That's what I'm, it's, it's very comparable to chicken. That's what I'm saying. So here we are, folks. Gourmet iguana pizza. Here, yeah, this looks good right here. Right there. Homemade. Oh, God, hot. Really? That's really good. Luke, you want some iguana pizza? <laughs> Grab me a slice, buddy. It's hot. Yeah, maybe you want to wait a little bit, actually. <laughs> Here, let me cut it for you, Luke, so it's not so hot. Iguana pizza. Iguana. Iguana. I'll just try this piece. Yeah, bite that corner right there with that piece of iguana on it. Tell us what you think. It's hot. <laughs> It's really hot, oh my god. Yeah, maybe we give it a second. I think I got lucky. All right, let's go, all three at once. No, Luke, you gotta eat the piece with iguana on it. All three of y'all. Come on. One, two, three, go. It's still hot. Kind of. <laughs> Good? Oh, it's hot. hot. It. <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It looks I can't good. taste that iguana. It's good. You can't taste it? Oh. We found that iguana yeah, dead on the side of the road. Yeah, that's why it's like that. It's not cooked. No. We're just joking. We're just kidding. joking. <laughs> Folks at home, we're just joking. Not bad. This pizza is probably going to get it's good. eaten. By I wish I didn't lose. You know I lost all my original iguana footage from the big viral video? Oh. What? How'd you lose it? I sent it to one of my sponsors and they erased my hard drive. Or I could have the clip of him when he was a baby chewing on that iguana tail. <laughs> oh my goodness. He literally has this tail. It's chewing on Just it? Hope, hope, hope. <laughs> Luke, ugh. Do you like chewing on iguana tails? I got one in the truck. <laughs> you just think about it? <laughs> I, I mean, we gotta I get the load in the boat so yeah. we go into Key West. Really yes, that is. It's not chewy. Yeah, that we're is, going bowling tonight. Oh, bowling. We're going bowling. And we're getting some Key pizza. West. And then we're going to Key West. And then I'm going bowling. Even no. though I'm not. And uh, 
Uh, good time here for muttons. We're gonna yellowtail fish, which I haven't done in legitimately 20 years. I'm super excited for that. Uh, probably gonna get some big black groupers bycatch. I'm excited for that. And we're gonna wahoo fish and do other stuff that you do in the Keys. Isn't that right, Blue Game? We might even go to that one bar I'm with the. Go back and tell you. The what? <laughs> <laughs> that too. All right, guys. Excited for the content that's coming up. Excited to go to the Keys. And if you want to see that, you should subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.